Well, this is the story of a gambling man whose name brought terror throughout the land, rising from Potomac muck to watch the Congress jive and shuck. They call him Cliff. He's fiscal Cliff. Now, Cliff was born with a heart of steel, a bastard son of a dirty deal, a contract pulled from the devil's behind, no ace in the hole, our ass on the line, all thanks to Cliff, that fiscal Cliff. As the days ticked by and the new year loomed, Boehner cried and Harry Reid fumed, but the boys on the hill wouldn't compromise, each side blaming the other guys, amusing Cliff, dirty fiscal Cliff. And Barack, poor guy, the son of a gun, thought he had the battle won when we brought him back for another term, but some folks just like to see him squirm, especially Cliff, pesky fiscal Cliff. With his hands on our wallets and his cards on the table, Cliff pressed his luck long as he was able, pushing closer to that slippery slope, expected us to give up hope because he's Cliff, damn fiscal Cliff. But Joe Biden didn't fold his hand. He helped concoct a half-assed plan to let McConnell find a way to hold off disaster another day, in spite of Cliff, that bastard Cliff. So now we face another season where Congress, without rhyme or reason, will take us past each little hump, pretending that they made a chump of Cliff, freaking fiscal Cliff.